with all the nonsense that's going on, with all the harping by the media on this and every move, and it's going to be that way throughout. Nonetheless, in the month of March, consumer confidence was the highest it's been since 2000. That's 17 years. Um, wow. um, you have, of course, Ford saying they're going to a billion point two, um, uh, one point two billion dollars in a factory in Michigan, uh, and you have things like this: these regulations going bye bye, which are going to help the coal miners and the energy field and small businesses. These are done to them too. Uh, when push comes to shove, in 018. Um, you think that this is what people's going to look at? Uh, people are going to look at what what the economy is now doing under Donald Trump and the Republicans, or are they going to harp on what the media is harping on? Well, obviously, we all like Obamacare repealed, and that was certainly one of the Republican central promises. They have to get that done. And Steve, by the way, you're here to first here on Newsmax. They're going to get that done. That's going to get done in the next couple of months, I believe. You be so you believe you be before tax reform and before the uh, the um, infrastructure, you still believe that what we're hearing coming out of the White House, and you have reason to believe, I'm not putting words in your mouth, that we <laughs> are going to see agreement and a passage of the health care bill before he moves Trump uh, moves on to something else. Well, I don't know. I don't know the sequencing of these things, you know. But I, but I do feel very strongly within the next six months, and probably long before that, Donald Trump is going to sign into a, a law a bill that maybe not in its entirety, but the majority of Obamacare will be completely repealed in good riddance. Now, on the, the next big one, as you just mentioned, is that tax bill, and we got to get that done. But on, in terms of the bounce in the economy, there's just no question it's out there. I, I believe. Steve, just in the last four four months or so since uh, Trump was elected, the U.S. economy, was, which was growing at one and a half percent under uh, uh, Obama for the last year, is now growing at uh, close to two and a half percent. So we've seen about a one percentage point increase, and Trump hasn't even done that much yet. So just wait till these reforms on Obamacare and the tax cuts and these new coal regulations take effect. I, I said it on your show many times. I'll say it again. I think we can get the four percent growth, and I think that's sustainable with these right with these right-minded policies. Let me let me play good reporter and ask you just one more question on that. Uh, is this a gut feeling you have, or have you well, heard uh, that, and you have reason to believe that there's been progress is being made, and you're, go ahead. I do. I do. I've been talking to members of the Freedom Caucus. I've been meeting, talking with some of the House leadership. They're getting very close, Steve. They're not there yet, but I think they're getting close to a deal that you and I are going to like and conservatives are going to uh, like a lot. I think it's better than the original Paul Ryan bill. Uh, and then you take it on to the Senate. Now, I got, I got to admit, the Senate's going to be another big, uh, you know, that's going to be a big leap to get over the Senate because you have to get 50 out of 52 Republicans. But I believe Mitch McConnell is going to be able to get that done. And, and I think we'll have a, a bill that we're going to be very proud of that guts most of Obamacare. And you know what? Maybe for the first time in 50 years, we'll actually try the free market in health care.